Hello, it's Uzbek again, and today I am making a video on bootcamp techniques. I'm going to go over uh, eight different bootcamp techniques. I think I don't know the name of every one of them, but it is corner jump, reverse corner jump, turnaround, wall push, and normal ground wall. So like yeah, n long jump and uh, to just like bounce jump something. And two lava things, two stuff that has with lava. So I'm going to start by showing you corner jumping. So corner jumping is that. Um, now I'm just going to try to reach that platform. And when I don't, when I just jump normally onto this, I don't get far enough. But if I now try and just, I'll try, then hit the corner you will jump a lot further and this is then corner jumping so to hit the corner of a thing is makes you go a lot further so this is a really good technique both for bootcamp it is required for a lot of maps I think it is the most used and uh, it is also required for a lot of uh, nor or not required but it makes it a lot you may get a lot faster in many maps on the normal rotation so just try and always hit the corner it takes a lot of time to get good at this I'm not I fail a lot of times with this but I think that the important thing to do is to be to feel that you do know how to do it because if you don't you will often fall too far behind or like don't hit the corner rather hit like on the middle as I did there it was for showing purposes it was not that I failed but don't get too like don't think that you're too good because then you will just uh, jump too far I don't know it's just like a thing but yeah now I'm going to show you reverse corner jump so just got to find the map here okay sorry for that I had prepared off the maps so that it would be okay. So this is kind of just the same thing as normal corner jump, but this time it's reverse. So as you can see, I'm jumping, and then I will try and hit this. Okay, failed. As you can see, this map is off the maps I made. It's like kind of fail maps, but okay. So now I hit the corner and I fell. Yeah, but as you can see, I went a lot further when I hit the corner than if I would just be walking normally. Oh, uh, well, I think. Okay, I don't know if this map is actually completable or not completable, but I don't know if I'm actually able to go to that platform. I haven't tried it. I, I think this was the only map I didn't try myself. I just tried it, but didn't try it the last time I edited it. But yeah, so it's. This is also useful for a lot of bootcamp maps. Not too useful for normal maps. I've not seen too many normal maps where you use this, but I'm sure there are some where this could be very handy, but I haven't seen too many of those. But yeah, let's go on to the next thing, which is turnaround. Turnaround or TA, as it often is, and I forgot to say that corn jump is often just said CG or C at CG and so if someone is saying that you know what they're meaning and TA or turnaround I am going to show you that now what that is so turnaround that is to go around this things my no so what you do is you just start kind of low on the thing you want to turn around on and then you just wait just hold in the running to the side button and then when you s you're on the bottom of it then just jump and jump to the other side it's kind of easy but you have got to try and you got to practice a little bit to get it but it's kind of random or it's god it's kind of easy when you get the hang of it and now the, the harder thing it's like the same thing but with normal wood it's a lot harder and I fell it a lot of times but I just thing I found to be very smart is to not not try and start up there you should try and like 
because that will get you a lot of speed but if you just like you can see here it's really hard because you have got to have like super reflexes reflexes something like that uh, to do it but if you then just start down here wait sorry I failed I'm going to try it again if you start down here and like try this and then go around it's a lot easier because you have a lot more time to react and you also know a lot better when you are going to go around it so it it's just a lot easier so but um, just just practice it just uh, it takes a lot of practice but when you get good you can also just do it like I tried but failed to just hit it once and then go around hit it once then go around hit it once it takes a lot of slower or it goes a lot faster but in the start you should just do it like I showed you by going on there and then just keeping keep running until you don't can't until you can't run along the chocolate and then you should just jump and press the bu button so um that was wrong that was cheese from my sorry um, and then we have wall push this is the fancy technique that can be used for both normal and uh, beat camp maps it is okay, so as you can see uh, now I'm just wall jumping normally and then do that no you see I couldn't do it but if I then as you can see I can't jump that far but if I then go up here to, wait sorry failed fail again oh my god I fail so that, just try and go up here and then as soon as you hit the okay fail but the thing with wall push is that as soon as you hit oh god why um as soon as you hit the um, the normal ground you just go out from it and then you will get like an extra animation or something that makes you jump further so oh god I need to get I need to make this to show you it is a kind of fancy technique because you have got to have kind of good reflex to do this or just know how to do it and this is not easy with lag I can tell you that because you will need to have like lightning oh god why oh my uh, but yeah I think you get the point even though I'm failing but I think you get what you should do there no my god I, I did it perfectly when I tried it earlier today oh my yeah but I think you get a point one last try and then I will go over to the next thing yeah sorry for not making it but I think you understand what you what you should do that next thing this is long jump so as you can see now I'm just going to try and run and jump no that was too far I couldn't do it but now the trick is that if you stand on like almost the corner and then just you gotta stop and then when you're on the corner you just start running this will make you be able to walk a lot or jump a lot further and this is a very fancy technique both for uh, this can uh, this is useful for like normal vanilla maps I know that map 10 you use this and uh, some other maps too I think and it is also useful for a lot of bootcamp maps I think you, you can also corner jump but that is a lot more hassle to do that like, it takes a lot it's easier to fail but if you just like stand on the corner here it's just like super easy you can do it a hundred a hundred percent of the time it's super duper easy so this shouldn't take too long to learn but I think you should yeah you should get it in like maybe five minutes or something you, then you should be able to do it like almost all the time okay, so the th third last I think yeah this so as you can see now I'm just going here trying to jump oops it's too far that but you can do it if you just like the thing you need to do is that you need to jump and as you hit the ground like this you just jump again so 
there. As you saw there, I could just jump a lot higher than I normally could, and that is because when you use the... Every time you hit the ground, you get like just a little bit of bounce, even if it is a normal wooden ground. You get like... It pushes you a little bit up in the air, and this makes you able... This makes you able to jump a little bit higher and this you it takes quite a long time I'm not mastered it as you saw I failed but it's kind of easy to do it in a couple of tries at least and this is <coughs> that is um, useful for both normal maps and vanilla maps I know that one two shaman maps if you know how to do that you can really uh, be good, and I know that one of the shaman maps too. It's it makes you it makes an easy first if you know how to do it. I th so yeah, <coughs> learning all of these techniques doesn't only help for bootcamp, but also helps for normal maps. So I would advise you learning these, even though even though you're not playing bootcamp. No, the last two techniques these both have with lava lava to do. <laughs> And I'm the first one is to walk on lava. So as you can see, when I try this, I die. So the first technique to walk on lava, you do this by just running towards the chocolate wall. Then when you hit the lava with your feet, you can just walk on it. it this is super easy. Not too easy yet when you don't have chocolate to do it on, but it is possible. I know that one bootcamp map you need to like jump perfectly to be able to walk on the lava but it is possible on every map and that the second technique that I know is a vanilla map you really need to do this is when you jump and then if you just keep on holding the up key it will make you not fly into the skies like I did there because I forgot it so if you just keep the up keys you won't fly onto you won't fly but yeah it's kinda handy and you should always hold up when you're on lava because this makes it yeah it's smart just that's the way it is but yeah so that was all the tips I had for you this time but if you have like anything more any more bootcamp techniques something else you want me to cover in this tutorial or just something you want me to make a video about leave it in the comments and I will try and do a video on it and this summer I will be making a lot of videos because I don't really have much to do and I will try to get one of my friends to make me an awesome intro yeah but he's kinda lazy so we'll see how it goes but yeah goodbye